Hey, you finny! This is a finny award, guys. What if I just steal it? SwiftX is Australia and New Zealand's top-rated cryptocurrency exchange. With close to 400,000 customers, our platform has facilitated billions of dollars in trading volume. You can buy, sell, swap, send, receive, trade, and store 280 plus cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum on our user-friendly mobile app and web platform. Sign up today via www.swiftx.com forward slash finnies2021 and you'll receive $50 worth of free Bitcoin to get you started. Happy trading. The best and brightest in fintech starts here. Australian fintechs are known for creating world-leading products. If you're an Australian fintech, regtech, insurtech, blockchain or cybersecurity business ready to expand overseas, Austrade can help. Connecting you with digital services, on-the-ground contacts, key networks and events to help your business go further, faster. Discover the brilliant international opportunities waiting for you. Hey, you finny! This is a finny award, guys. What if I just steal it? SwiftX is Australia and New Zealand's top-rated cryptocurrency exchange. With close to 400,000 customers, our platform has facilitated billions of dollars in trading volume. You can buy, sell, swap, send, receive, trade, and store 280 plus cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum on our user-friendly mobile app and web platform. Sign up today via www.swiftx.com forward slash finnies2021 and you'll receive $50 worth of free Bitcoin to get you started. Happy trading. The best and brightest in fintech starts here. 
Australian fintechs are known for creating world-leading products. If you're an Australian fintech, regtech, insurtech, blockchain or cybersecurity business ready to expand overseas, Austrade can help. Connecting you with digital services, on-the-ground contacts, key networks and events to help your business go further, faster. Discover the brilliant international opportunities waiting for you. This is a Finney Award, guys. What if I just steal it? SwiftX is Australia and New Zealand's top-rated cryptocurrency exchange. With close to 400,000 customers, our platform has facilitated billions of dollars in trading volume. You can buy, sell, swap, send, receive, trade, and store 280-plus cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, on our user-friendly mobile app and web platform. Sign up today via www.swiftx.com forward slash finneys2021 and you'll receive $50 worth of free Bitcoin to get you started. Happy trading! The best and brightest in fintech starts here. Australian fintechs are known for creating world-leading products. If you're an Australian fintech, regtech, insurtech, blockchain or cybersecurity business ready to expand overseas, Austrade can help. Connecting you with digital services, on-the-ground contacts, key networks and events to help your business go further, faster. Discover the brilliant international opportunities waiting for you. This is a Finney Award, guys. What if I just steal it?
SwiftX is Australia and New Zealand's top-rated cryptocurrency exchange. With close to 400,000 customers, our platform has facilitated billions of dollars in trading volume. You can buy, sell, swap, send, receive, trade, and store 280-plus cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, on our user-friendly mobile app and web platform. Sign up today via www.swiftx.com forward slash finnies2021 and you'll receive $50 worth of free Bitcoin to get you started. Happy trading! The best and brightest in fintech starts here. Australian fintechs are known for creating world-leading products. If you're an Australian fintech, regtech, insurtech, blockchain or cybersecurity business ready to expand overseas, Austrade can help. Connecting you with digital services, on-the-ground contacts, key networks and events to help your business go further, faster. Discover the brilliant international opportunities waiting for you. A very good evening, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the 2021 Finney Awards. And I'm going to pause to allow you all to give a rousing round of applause, possibly even a standing ovation. I can't see or hear you. I'm just going to assume that you did it. Yes, welcome. This is, in fact, the fifth annual Finney Awards and the second virtual Finney Awards coming to you live tonight from Melbourne, beaming and streaming into your homes, your offices, your home offices, your startup hubs, your, your living rooms, your back patios, your gardens, wherever it is that you may be watching us from this evening. This is the most exciting thing to see on your screens this evening, unless you happen to be watching The Masked Singer or the new Britney Spears documentary, highly recommended, or Squid Game. Spoiler alert, a lot of people die. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land, where I'm joining you from in Melbourne this evening, and also to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that you may be on wherever you are watching around Australia. And to pay my respects to any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people watching 
today to elders past, present and emerging. A shout out to those of you who are watching solo and to those of you who are watching in small groups. We actually also have some viewing hubs in a couple of locations around the country. For those of you who are lucky enough to be gathered together with people in a room other than your family, good for you. I remember those days and they will return again. Look, allow me to introduce myself. You may be looking at me going, is this somebody that we should know? Is this somebody famous? Is this some member of the fintech community that we have never come across before? Is this one of those local B grade, C grade Melbourne radio personalities or somebody from one of those late night ABC TV shows that we don't recognise? Look, I am absolutely none of those things. I am a total no name. My name is Andrew Klein. I will be your MC, your host for this evening, virtually your host for this evening, I should say. And I am delighted that the team from FinTech Australia have invited me to host the Finneys this evening as your online host. Now, it is possible that some people are gonna tune in late to this broadcast and are gonna see me and go, I wonder whether FinTech Australia have somehow got Koshi to host this evening's awards. Look, before I grew my lockdown beard, I was actually the seven time runner up of the Koshi lookalike competition. But as I said, I am really no one famous that you should recognize. To be honest, my real claim to fame though in the FinTech community is that back in 2017, my middle son Noah took Nick Molnar's youngest cousin Chloe to his year 10 formal. So I feel intricately connected to the fintech world. A huge thank you to our sponsors, to our award sponsor. Thank you very much to the Victorian government. Thank you to our presenting partner, Swiftex and Vocus, our major sponsors, and Commonwealth government, AussieX, MasterCard, OneTrust, and Tangram, our event sponsors. We thank each and every one of those organizations for allowing the Finneys to take place and for supporting us. I also hope that those of you who are watching at home are enjoying this evening with your Finney's gift box that FinTech Australia have sent you. I've actually got one here. I suspect that many of you have got these with you. We sent this to you as a gift in case you haven't received enough gifts delivered to your doors in the past year or two. I am on my first name basis with the local Australian Post guy and the Amazon guy and the Dan Murphy guy and the Uber Eats people. Uh, I imagine that many of you are too. Now, I don't know, let me just move the Finney's mug out of the way. I don't know if you've opened it up yet and I strongly advise that you do. Uh, you can take out all of the wonderful goodies that have been sent to you and sent to me. Uh, thank you to Fintech Australia for their drink bottle. So if you would like to have a drink this evening, feel free to do so. To BDO for their adapters. Uh, we've got more adapters. This one is from the ASX. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I should give a very, very big thank you to the sponsors of this gift box. Thank you to our friends from Burgo Pack. We could just get a close up on that. Thank you. Uh, open these up, see what Burgo Pack have given you. There's a whole lot of really cool things in here. There is a diary with thanks to our friends and sponsors from Vocus. Lots of things. Have a look at them in your own time and play with them as much as you like. There we go. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that those of you who are with lots of other people or, or large-ish groups of people at our legal viewing parties around Australia in uh, Brisbane. We have a group gathered in Adelaide. We have a group gathered. I hope you're enjoying those parties. So to be honest, whether you are so low this evening or so lucky to be in a group, we are going to this evening celebrate virtually, but feel the community spirit as we celebrate the best of the best in the fintech community and all of the successes and growth and developments of the year gone by and hopefully have a little bit of fun along the way. I promise you that this awards ceremony, like last year's virtual awards ceremony, is different to other awards ceremonies that you have had in the past and that you will have in the future 
as well. This would normally be a glittering gala event where you would all chat and gather together in one place and drink and network and laugh with large numbers of other members of the fintech community and the dance floor would end up going off and we do all miss that. But the upside of virtual awards is that you don't have to get all dressed up like me uh, and you can't complain about the food or the air conditioning or who you're sitting next to or whether you've got sat on the cool table or you're too far from the stage. That's one of the benefits of the virtual awards. Instead, you can sit back, relax and enjoy this evening from your couch in your trackies. And to be honest with you, if you get bored with any of the speeches or if you feel that you were robbed, you can simply shut your laptop and we will never know. But don't do that. You won't need to do that. This is going to be, I promise you, a lot of fun. All right. With that, I'm now going to virtually hand over to the Honourable Jala Pulford, Minister for Innovation, Medical Research and the Digital Economy, to welcome us this evening and to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for the opportunity to say a few words. Uh, and if I could start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the lands uh, that we're each joining from uh, this afternoon and to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I can also acknowledge uh, Simone Joyce, uh, the Chair of Fintech Australia, Senator, the Honourable Jane Hume, Minister for Superannuation Financial Service and the Digital Economy and Minister for Women's Economic Security. Um, Ms Rebecca uh, Shotgapi, uh, the CEO of Fintech Australia. It's my great pleasure to officially welcome you to the FinTech Industries Night of Nights, the Finnies, hosted by FinTech Australia. Our government is very pleased and proud to have been able to support FinTech Australia for the last few years, including to help bring life to this great event that celebrates Australia's thriving FinTech industry. As the Minister for Innovation, Medical Research and the Digital Economy in the Andrews government, it's been my great pleasure to engage with industry and to witness its growth firsthand. Your industry is playing a significant role in creating jobs as well as supporting companies to continue to operate remotely and move towards e-commerce both here and abroad. And that's why I'm so pleased to acknowledge the amazing job you're all doing to drive innovation, not just in your own businesses, but across the entire economy. And also to join you to honour the finalists here tonight. Our government is really really keen and excited about embracing this opportunity and positioning Victoria as a globally recognised centre for fintech. We know that for our economy to bounce back from the pandemic, we need to support our fintech industry and to continue to support innovation across the state. So thanks to the Fintech Australia Board for making this event happen. And of course, all that you're all doing to help us navigate and overcome the challenges of COVID-19. So good luck to all the finalists. Uh, have a great night, stay safe and well, and I really look forward to catching you all soon. Cheers. And thank you very much to the Minister. Now, to welcome us, I am about to introduce Simone Joyce. Now, apart from being the co-founder of Paper Plane, Simone is the chair of FinTech Australia, and I am delighted to hand across to her now. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the Finneys 2021. This event has been rescheduled three times this year. And whilst I'm so disappointed we can't be all together in person tonight, I'm also very happy that we're coming together to celebrate our industry and the incredible people and companies within it. And there's a lot to celebrate. So much has happened this year. We've seen records broken and news cycles exploded with the news about Square and Afterpay. And that's a really good sign for the future of our industry. CBR has turned one. And like any one-year-old, the interesting work is just beginning. The crypto sector has grown up and out. We had an in-person intersect and intersect got patooted. Everyone from the RBA through to ASIC and Treasury decided to step up their payments regulation game. Senator Bragg kept FinTech Australia occupied with yet more submissions to his Senate Select Committee. We had record numbers respond to the EY FinTech Census and record numbers of applications for the Finney's Awards. There's so much more that happened this year that generally speaks to an industry growing in significance maturing and expanding. And tonight is about celebrating that fact and recognising the individuals and the companies that make our industry so strong and so exciting. We have some incredible and inspirational finalists to celebrate tonight. And I think it's also really important to acknowledge the strong community we have. 
which I think is part due to the shared experience of working on some very important problems in a particularly challenging space, and in part due to the respect that we all seem to have for each other. Last year, I spoke about how proud I was to be part of that. And this year, I'll say that again. I'm very proud to be part of this industry filled with you all. And I'm also proud of the industry in and of itself and the things that we're achieving in Australia. Now, there's one more thing that happened this year. Rebecca Shot Guppy announced that she was stepping down from her role as CEO of FinTech Australia. Beck stepped into FinTech Australia three years ago. And when she stepped in when the organisation was particularly wobbly, under her leadership, FinTech Australia has stabilised, grown and established itself as a well-respected and sought after thought leader. More importantly, Beck has worked tirelessly to make sure that FA is returning benefits to you, our members. For this, Beck, thank you. I am looking forward to watching you achieve great things at IAG and I'm looking forward to FinTech Australia continuing to grow and expand over the coming years. For now though, Let's get on with the Finney's 2021. Batuta Advocate, if you are watching, please liken this to the Emmys and not the Lokis. Thank you. Have a fabulous evening, everyone, and enjoy. And thank you very much for that, Simone. And also let me say congratulations. Thank you to Beck. Good on you. Well done. Congratulations. All the best. Mazel tov. Moving forward for all of the wonderful work that you have done for FinTech Australia and also for being in lockdown for your second year in a row for the Finneys Beck. Take care and all the very best. Even though we can't actually be all together in a room as one this evening, we want to feel like we are as together as possible and we would genuinely love to see what you look like how you are this evening, where you are this evening, how you're celebrating the Finneys this evening. So what I'm going to ask you to do at any stage, but now would be a good time, is to grab your phones and take a photo of how you are viewing this evening and your various surroundings, whether you're on your own or whether you're in a group of people. We would love to see your award outfits. We would love to see how you are rocking the virtual red carpet, how you are attending the awards this evening. Uh, so whether you're in black tie or whether you're in something slightly more casual like your pajamas or alone or with other people or with pets or with kids or with a large group of people or the local police, if the large group of people is larger than it should be, please take a photo and then tweet your photos with the hashtag for our best dressed competition. Our official hashtag this evening is hashtag Finneys2021. Remember that's Finneys with an F. I know a few people last year accidentally tweeted their photos to hashtag Vinnies and the people at Vinnies were a little bit confused. We don't want that to happen this evening. We are presenting 22 awards this evening, plus inducting our very first two inductees into the Finneys Hall of Fame, the very first time that the Finneys have Hall of Famers. We've come of age. Now, you know your awards nights have come of age when you are doing your Hall of Famer inductees. So stay tuned. Later on, you will find out who will become the Finney's equivalent of a Morgan Freeman or a Meryl Streep, who will be the Finney's Hall of Famer legends. A big thank you to all of the judges for tonight's awards. It has been such a competitive year with multiple awards being decided by decimal places. So I'm gonna pause while you all at home or wherever you are, give a rousing round of applause to our dedicated team of judges. I wonder how many people actually did that. Thank you very much to our judges. We very much appreciate your support. I am delighted to be hosting this evening, not on my own, but I will be hosting with my co-host this evening, Kathy Lyle from the FinTech Australia Board, who joins me this evening. I am now going to literally throw to Kathy, who is joining me in having a ball, bad pun, bad pun. So how are you doing? Kathy, I'm throwing to you now. Oh, thanks, Andrew. Very excited for tonight's awards evening. The Finneys are finally with us. Now, let's get this party started. All right, thanks, Kathy. 
Look, let's go. Let's start to announce the 2021 Finney Start the Clock. Uh, the first award is for Best Workplace Diversity and the finalists are Artitry, BizCap, Bright, Campaign Agent, Foupay, Loans.com.au, Traction. Okay, Kathy, over to you to announce the winner. Thanks, Andrew. Workplace diversity is so important. This award is sponsored by Tangram, and we have Connie from Tangram to present. I'm delighted to present the Best Workplace Diversity Award on behalf of Tangram. Tangram is a smart wealth creating platform that combines shopping rewards with investment options. So it's time to see the winner for this year is Bright. You've got such an excellent team that contributes a lot to this ecosystem. Congratulations, Bright. Thank you for recognising Bright for best workplace diversity. It is a real privilege to win this award. I'm sure everyone tuning in knows the immeasurable impact that diversity can have in the workplace. When we make decisions within a diverse team, we make better decisions for our employees, our customers and for our partners. I've only been with Bright for a short time, but I can already say that diversity is an essential ingredient to our success. Even more than that, as a female founded and led business, it is a core part of our DNA. From the time that Bright was founded, we've been deliberate in creating teams where people can come from all walks of life and bring with them diverse experiences, and that helps us both reflect and connect with our customers. Our team has almost doubled in the last 12 months alone, and I'm excited to see where our diversity-driven culture is going to take us next. Thank you. And congratulations to the team from Bright. We move into the finalists for excellence in blockchain distributed ledgers, and those finalists are Aguinity, Boulevard Global, Comchain, Hutley, Miko, Oxen, Pella Technology and Relay Pay. And Kathy, over to you for the winners. So this award has been sponsored by SwiftX and we have Chris from SwiftX to present to the winners. SwiftX is proud to support this year's awards for excellence in blockchain and distributed technology. As a cryptocurrency exchange, we understand the huge potential and innovation required to drive the industry forward and therefore proud to support this award. This year's Excellence in Blockchain and Distributed Ledger Technology Award goes to Miko. Congratulations, guys. It is my great honor to accept the Excellence in Blockchain and Distributed Ledger Finney's Award on behalf of our team, which would not be possible without the incredible collaboration with the FPOS team in Australia, along with Hedera. So on behalf of all of us at Miko, Thank you for this recognition, and I especially look forward to being able to celebrate in person just as soon as it's possible to return home. Thank you. We move now to the finalists for excellence in cryptocurrency. And those finalists are Binance Australia, Cointree, Daxi Australia, ePocket, Elbate, Independent Reserve, SwiftX, and Wallet of Satoshi. And Kathy, the winners, please. This award has been very generously sponsored by Stone & Chalk. We have Michelle Price from SNC to present to the winners. Drum roll, please. And the winner of the category for excellence in crypto and digital currencies, wallets and exchanges is, drum roll, SwiftX. Congratulations everyone at Team SwiftX, well done. At Stone & Chalk, we're super proud to have been able to sponsor this award and to everyone else who was nominated and those who are finalists, well done. But to SwiftX, you take the gong, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to be accepting this award today on behalf of our entire team at SwiftX and my co-founder, Angus Goldman. There's been an amazing amount of things going on behind the scenes and we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for our awesome partners and the great team. Thanks again, Fintech Australia. And congratulations, SwiftX. Well done, I'm gonna have a drink in celebration. I trust that you're having alcohol at home. I'm having coffee. By the way, don't forget to share those photos. We would love to see how you're looking, how you're viewing 
the Finneys this evening. Take those photos, you, yourself, your pets, your family, and send them in to us. Remember, send it to hashtag Finneys2021 and we will do our best to uh, display those photos and share the winners a little bit later. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our next award. Uh, there is only 137 of them to go. Lucky we're in lockdown, many of us with not much to do. But I move into the award for excellence in InsureTech. And the finalists are Cover Hero, Digital Agriculture Services, Freight Safe, Open Insurance, Ubind, and Upshore Innovators Insured. And Kathy. Tell us who has won. IAG Firemark Ventures are the sponsors of this award and we've got Mike here from IAG to present the award. Over to you, Mike. Hi, it's Michael Dovey here, General Partner of IAG Firemark Ventures. Uh, we're honoured to be uh, part of the Finneys tonight and presenting the award for InsureTech of the Year. So let's see who it is. Open the envelope. Okay. The winner of InsureTech of the Year for 2021 is Open Insurance. Congratulations, guys, and well done to the team at Open Insurance. We are so excited and grateful to have won the Excellence in InsureTech Award tonight and to be recognized among some stellar companies in the InsureTech space. This year has been really significant for Open. We've grown our team in Australia. We've expanded into New Zealand and we are extremely excited about moving into the Northern Hemisphere and opening in the UK next year. Everyone's worked incredibly hard this year um, across the entire team and this award is um, fantastic recognition for all of us. So thank you very much indeed. And now a special guest appearance from Ines to say congrats again to the other finalists and... Thanks for believing in our mission to provide the fastest insurance at the best price for the world. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks everyone. And congratulations to Open Insurance. In fact, congratulations to all of our winners so far. I mentioned before about the photos and they have started to come in, so thank you to those of you who have taken photos of you dressed up beautifully in celebration of the Finneys tonight. We've some great photos coming in. Please continue to send them in wherever you may be, whether you're in New South Wales or Victoria or Queensland or overseas or anywhere around Australia. We would love to see your photos of you alone or in a group, whether you're in casual dress or whether you've actually gone to the trouble that I have gone and got dressed up in your awards finery. Don't forget those photos, hashtag Finneys2021 to go into the draw for the best dressed award. We move now into our next award. It is the fifth award. It is excellence in payments, including remittance and Forex. And the finalists are DiviPay, Go Cardless, Medipass, Maneuver, Zepto, who were previously split payments, Verency, Wise, and Zip. Kathy, who's the winner? This award is sponsored by Paperplane. Let's hear from Simone Joyce, CEO of Paperplane, to announce the winner. Simone. Paperplane is so proud to be sponsoring the Excellence in Payments Awards for the Finneys 2021. Congratulations to all of the finalists. I think you're all amazing. Um, and if there's anything that we like more than origami at Paper Plane, it is excellent payments. So let's find out who the winner is. The winner of Excellence in Payments for 2021 is Zip. Congratulations, Zip. And congratulations to all of the finalists. We're delighted to be recognised by FinTech Australia for excellence in payments. At Zip, we're committed to continually innovating to create flexible and seamless customer experiences as part of our mission to be the first payment choice everywhere and every day. A huge shout out to all the hardworking Zipsters whose fearless spirit makes this possible. And of course, a big thanks to all our merchants and customers who inspire us every day. Congratulations, Zip. Back to you now, Andrew. Thank you, good throw, Kathy. 
just pop the beach ball underneath the table. And before we move on, it is time to hear a few words and thank you to our wonderful sponsors from Swiftex. Let's hear from them now. Swiftex is proud to partner Fintech Australia for this year's 2021 Finney's Awards. As a growing financial services company, we're thrilled to be able to support the recognition of other incredible projects within this space. The fintech industry is evolving at rapid speed here in Australia, and the caliber of this year's nominees is truly outstanding. Congratulations to all the finalists and good luck. Thank you very much to the SwiftX team. On to our next award. This is award number six. The finalists in excellence in business lending are Banjo Loans, Business Fuel, Button, Get Capital, Prosper, On Deck Australia, Radium Capital and Valiant Finance. Kathy, who has won? Thanks, Andrew. This award's been sponsored by Creditor Watch. Let's hear from Patrick to announce the winner. Good evening, everyone. Patrick from Creditor Watch. Very, very proud to be sponsoring excellence in business lending at this year's Finney Awards. We love being involved with FinTech Australia. Congratulations on another fantastic event. Next year in person, of course. And now, drum roll, please. The winner of Excellence in Business Lending. Some amazing nominations, but only one winner. Prosper. Huge congratulations. Well done to Greg and Bo. What a night. Enjoy yourselves. Well done, everyone. Wow. Well, thank you to Fintech Australia. Uh, when we started Prosper nine years ago, uh, to think about how far we've come as an organisation, how many small businesses we've supported, um, have been true pioneers. Um, this recognition is just phenomenal. So thank you to Fintech Australia once again for an awesome event. Uh, congratulations to all the other finalists and to all of Australia's Fintechs. Uh, we, we wish you all the best in the years ahead. Um, it truly is an amazing thing that's happening here in the Australian economy. And we really hope to see many of you in person real soon. And well done, congratulations to the Prosper team. We move on to our seventh award, award number seven, lucky seven, seven year itch. I can't think of any other seven metaphors. It is the seventh award for the Finneys. It is for excellence in consumer lending and the finalists are Athena Home Loans, Bright, Fupe, loans.com.au, Money Me, TikTok, Wiser and 86400. And Cathy, tell us who the winner is. This award is sponsored by the Victorian Government Department of Jobs, Precincts and Regions, who's also our presenting partner this evening. We have Connie here from the VicGov to present the winner. The Victorian Government is proud to support the Finneys and celebrate the great achievements of our FinTech sector. It's my great pleasure to announce the winner of the Excellence in Consumer Lending Award, proudly sponsored by the Victorian Government. And the winner is Athena Home Loans. Congratulations. Athena is delighted to accept this year's award for Excellence in Consumer Lending. We'd love to congratulate all the finalists. It's such an impressive list. The depth of the FinTech ecosystem, great teams doing incredible innovation, is palpable. It's important work. Home lending needs to be changed for the better. Innovation to make homes more affordable, to make debt more manageable, to reduce financial stress, to help Aussies rewrite their future stories. In a crazy challenging year, we're proud of how the Athena team stayed focused on our mission to help Australians pay down their home loan faster, delivering great rates fee-free and continuing, continuing to innovate with product features like Accelerates. Big congrats to our wickedly talented team of Athenians who made this possible. We're all super excited with the path ahead from here. Thank you. And well done to Athena Home Loans. We move into our eighth award. This award is for excellence in wealth management, including PFM and Robo. And the finalists are Fresh Equities, Frollo, Fupe, my Prosperity, Raise, ShareSite, Superhero, and StockSpot. Kathy, tell us who the winners are. This award has been sponsored by AussieX. Eric from AussieX will present. Over to you, Eric. As one of Australia's leading wholesale brokers, 
Aussie X are proud to be able to sponsor this award that recognises those fintechs who provide the most innovative, cost-effective and high-quality investment and wealth management solutions. We welcome the innovation that the nominees bring to the Australian market and congratulate all of you for how you are helping shape the landscape for years to come. I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the Award for Excellence in Wealth Management is Stockspot. First of all, thanks Fintech Australia for recognising us in this Excellence in Wealth Management category. I'm really proud of our team and the product we've been able to build um, and, and that we've really been able to help a lot of Australians um, to grow and protect their money in what's been a pretty difficult year for everyone. Um, big uh, thanks as well to Beck and the rest of the Fintech Australia team for the great work you've done supporting the industry and uh, Beck, wish you all the best in your next role. And congratulations to Stockspot, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, as I've mentioned earlier, this event would not be possible without the amazing support from our wonderful sponsors. And let's hear now from one of them, from Vocus, one of our major sponsors. Vocus is Australia's leading fibre services company, connecting communities, enterprises and governments within Australia and from Australia to New Zealand and the world. We're backed by world-class leading experts, world-class partners, and building world-class customer experiences for all of our customers. We're delighted to be sponsors of Fintech Australia again for 2021 and wish you all the best. Thank you. And thank you again to the team from Vocus. We move now to our ninth award, Excellence in Open Data. And the finalists are Arditry, Basic, Beza.io, Investnet, Yodley and Frollo. Kathy, tell us who the winners are. The Excellence in Data Award is sponsored by TrueLayer and we have Brenton from TrueLayer here to announce the winner. Over to you, Brenton. Hello everyone and welcome to this year's Finneys and a big congratulations to all the finalists in all of the categories. Also a big thank you to Rebecca, who's shown amazing leadership at Fintech Australia over the last few years. We are going to really miss you. TrueLayer is extremely proud to be presenting the inaugural Excellence in Open Data Award and to be acknowledging all of those who have contributed to the CDR and open banking in Australia. I'm pleased to announce the winner of this year's Excellence in Open Data as Frollo. Hi there, FinTech community. I'm so excited to be here with you today to accept this award on behalf of Frollo and the team. Uh, we had an incredible year working in open banking um, and you know we're really excited about the year ahead. So we have some big deals to announce, um, more deals to come, and I hope to be here again next year. See you all then, bye. And well done to uh, Frollo. We move now to our 10th award, which is Excellence in Establishing Global Market Presence. And the finalists for this award are Open Pay Group, Rush Gold, Verency and Wallet of Satoshi. Kathy, tell us who the winners are. So this award is sponsored by Austrade. The Honourable Dan Tehan, the Minister for Trade, Tourism and Investment, will present this award. Hello, I'm Xavier Simonet, Austrade's CEO. Minister Tehan is very disappointed he could not be with you today as he's currently travelling internationally. It's a privilege to be presenting the award for excellence in establishing market presence. Breaking into new markets overseas is hard, but it's hugely important for our long-term success. And today, the winner is Verenci. Congratulations. Thank you, Fintech Australia, for the honor of being nominated and receiving the uh, prestigious award of excellence in global market presence. Um, for a young startup like ourselves to be recognized in this illustrious group of other companies that have done amazing work in establishing themselves around the world, it's a huge honor to be uh, receiving this award. So thank you very much and um, hope to see you again next year. Bye. And congratulations to Verency. We move into award number 11. This is Excellence in Industry Collaboration and Partnerships. And the finalists are Filler, Flair, Fupe, Look Who's Charging, Money Me Perks, Campaign Agent, Rush Gold Bullion Mastercard, and Snip. Kathy, 
to announce the winners, I am now going to uh, throw back to you. Oh. Thanks, Andrew. We're powering through these awards and your throws are certainly powering up too. So this award is sponsored by Zero. Let's hear from Danielle to present the winner. Good evening. My name is Danielle Smith. I'm the Head of Financial Services Partnerships, Australia and New Zealand for Xero. Xero is partnering with some of the world's most innovative financial services providers and fintechs to ensure our 2.7 million customers access the services they need. These are particularly in better visibility of cash flow, greater access to capital and improved business efficiencies. Given the importance of partnership to Xero, I'm very pleased to announce the winner of Excellence in Industry Collaboration and Partnership. And the winner is Filler. Hey guys, Chris Koch here, CEO and co-founder of Filler. Um, so grateful to be accepting this award um, and thank you to FinTech Australia for acknowledging us in this way. I really have to say thanks to our team. They've worked tirelessly for us to develop these partnerships, um, Rakuten, um, QuadPay in the US, Zip in Australia, uh, Payday in Japan. Um, really, really grateful to be working with such amazing companies and really to all of us in this category to be so crazy to have a crack at this startup game. Um, we all deserve this credit. And uh, during this time, I really hope you're all staying safe. So thank you and very much appreciated. And well done and congratulations to Filler. Look, we have reached the halfway point. I hope everyone is doing well so far. Before we move on, a huge thank you and a big acknowledgement to each and every one of our sponsors this evening. It is time to hear a few words from the Honourable Senator Jane Hume, the Minister for Superannuation, Financial Services and the Digital Economy. Let's hear from Jane now. Hello to everyone joining today. It's an important opportunity for the ecosystem to get together to celebrate achievements, to share stories and to support one another. And this year is particularly special with the introduction of the Hall of Fame. It's a sign of just how far the industry has come. So congratulations to the inductees. I know who you are and you've certainly achieved it. And congratulations to all the nominees across all award categories. We're living in such difficult times. Technology has enabled businesses, communities and individuals to remain connected, to stay afloat and to access critical services. The government has made it clear that the digital economy is an important part of our nation's roadmap to economic recovery. And the FinTech industry plays such a vital role. We're building on strong foundations. We have the digital economy strategy, which is the Morrison government's $1.2 billion plan for Australia to become a world leading digital economy and society by 2030. We have a tax and regulatory framework that supports innovation. And we're investing in technologies such as AI, quantum computing and advanced analytics. We're investing in new industries such as the gaming sector. And we're looking at how to supercharge investment through review of incentive schemes. We have pathways to support growth internationally, leveraging the government's relationships with regulators, with industry and with investors abroad. For example, through the UK Australia FinTech Bridge and our digital economy agreement with Singapore, under which we intend to create a new bridge to further support Aussie businesses to expand globally. And we have a new era of the consumer data right and open banking with energy and telecommunications soon to follow. And I'd like to personally thank all of you who have contributed so much to help ensure that the CDR is a robust world leading system. More Australians will be able to save money, time and hassle by being able to securely share their data in order to gain insights and access better value products and services. So, Thank you and congratulations again to all the winners. It's an ideal time to innovate and it's terrific to see all your hard work get the recognition it deserves. And thank you very much to the Minister for her support. We move into the second round of awards, starting with award number 12, Excellence in FinTech Support Services. And the finalists are Creditor Watch, FPOS Payments Australia, King & Wood Mallisons, KNL Gates, Startup Bootcamp, Stone and Chalk, The Fold Legal, UK Department for International Trade. Cathy, tell us who the winners are. 
Thanks, Andrew, and welcome back, everybody. This award is sponsored by Data Action. It's time to hear from Andrew McCleave to announce the winner. Good evening, everyone. I'm Andrew McCleave, General Manager, Growth and Customer Experience at Data Action. Data Action is Australia's leading core banking platform provider, powering the alternative banking sector in Australia. The nominations have been excellent, and what I'm proud to announce for the category Excellence in FinTech and Support Services, the winner is Stone and Chalk. Congratulations to the whole team, a well-deserved win. Well, thank you so much to everyone at FinTech Australia and everyone that's been involved with this year's Finnies. We are so excited to have won this award on behalf of Stone and Chalk's team across the country. We are absolutely just so humbled and so excited to win excellence in support services. You all know that we are so passionate about growing amazing Australian companies in emerging technologies. Uh, so being recognised in this way is such an honour. Thank you so much, everyone, and absolutely just amazing. Thank you. And congratulations to Stone and Chalk. On to our award number 13. This is the award for the best partnership of the year. And the finalists are Arditry and Verifier, Athena Home Loans and PwC Australia, Bank of Queensland and Frollo, Creditor Watch and Open Analytics, Rush Gold and EML Payments, Sys Data Services and Intuit QuickBooks, Superhero and Zepto, and Valiant Finance and Australia Post. Cathy, fill us in, tell us who the winners are. Another hotly contested category this year is Best Partnerships and the award is sponsored by First Mac. Let's cross to Mari who's going to share the winner with us. On behalf of First Mac, we are so proud to have sponsored the Best Partnership Award for the Finneys in 2021. There were so many great examples of some sensational partnerships across the fintech industry in Australia. Congratulations to all of the finalists. The winner for the 2021 Best Partnership Award goes to Australia Post and Valiant. Congratulations to both teams. Thank you so much. We're absolutely thrilled to win uh, the Finney for Best Partnership. Um, for our, our work with Australia Post has been incredible, obviously an incredibly uh, you know, recognised brand across Australia. Um, but a big thank you to them for uh, for you know, working working with us to to launch to launch something really really special for Australian SMEs, and we're super excited for where we can go from here. Thank you so much. And well done, congratulations to Valiant Finance. Our next award, fourteenth, is excellence in reg tech, and the finalists are Arditry, Arctic Intelligence, Comply Advantage, Fenergo, Frankie One. Lab Group and Traction. Over to you, Cathy, to fill us in on the winners. This award is sponsored by OneTrust. We are joined by Robinson Rowe from OneTrust to announce the winner. OneTrust is delighted to announce this year's Finney's Excellence in RegTech Award because at OneTrust we help fintechs and established companies gain certifications in compliance, governance, all the way from AI-driven, do-it-yourself, through to a full-blown platform. So with no further ado, from a very strong list of candidates, let me announce the winner. It, and it is Frankie One. Congratulations. We're thrilled to uh, have won the Excellence in RegTech Award. Uh, thank you very much for everybody that, uh, that voted for us and especially to uh, FinTech Australia. Um, huge testament to the team, um, what we've achieved. It's been a, been a huge year for us, so I'm most grateful uh, to be recognised. Uh, and thank you very much. And congratulations to the team from Frankie One. The finalists for our next award, this is our 15th award, the deal of the year are NextGen.net and Frollo, QuadPay and Zip, Rakuten and Filler, Wirecard Australia and New Zealand and Change Financial, and 86400 and National Australia Bank. Cathy, over to you for the winners. We've been looking forward to finding out who wins Deal of the Year. This award has been sponsored by YBF Ventures. Let's cross to Courtney to announce the winner. 
Hi, my name is Courtney Blackman, and I'm here on behalf of Australia's top tech and innovation hub, YBF Ventures, and I'm thrilled to announce the winner of the Deal of the Year at the 2021 Finneys. And the winner is Quad Pay and Zip. Congratulations. Wow. We're so thrilled to have won the Deal of the Year category. The Quad Pay deal provided us the perfect opportunity to partner with a company that aligned with our core values, delivering seamless, flexible and innovative customer experiences. As a result, we've really been able to solidify our position as a true global BNPL leader. A huge thanks to everyone at Zip, both here and in the US, who worked so hard to execute this game-changing deal. And congratulations to Quad Pay and Zip. Look, as I mentioned earlier on this evening, the Hall of Fame, it is a Finney's first. This is a new concept from the team at FinTech Australia. It's all about awarding and rewarding and celebrating some of the larger than life legends, the game changers and homegrown unicorns, which is why we have subtly placed this on our table. It's actually a money box for those of you who remember coins that you can pop in there. Uh, to celebrate our unicorns. I just actually read a few weeks ago that the awesome online editing company Grammarly became a unicorn. I love uh, Grammarly. I actually use them to put my teleprompter notes together for tonight's event and they are absolutely great. Great. Absolutely great. Okay, Hall of Fame time. Kathy, talk us through this brand new category. Over the last five years, we've seen our industry develop with many homegrown Australian unicorns and many fintechs taking the world by storm. This year, we are introducing the Hall of Fame to acknowledge the ongoing success of companies and individuals in our ecosystem. As it's the first year of the Hall of Fame, we're actually going to induct two inaugural inductees, both who have been serial Finney's winners in past years. Let's hear from Paul Kang to announce the first inductee. Over to you, Paul. Very excited to be announcing the first inductee into the Finney's Hall of Fame. And the inductee is Afterpay. On behalf of FinTech Australia, congratulations, Afterpay. The Afterpay team have been recipients of six Finney Awards, have grown to close to a thousand employees, and expanded into multiple geographies across the globe. They had a recent merger with Square valued at $39 billion really paved the way in being the leading fintech in the Australian ecosystem. Once again, congratulations and very well deserved. I'd just love to say that on behalf of the whole Afterpay team, um, we are absolutely thrilled and honoured to be part of the inaugural Finney's Hall of Fame. It's probably coming up on six years ago now that Nick Molnar and I set out on a mission to establish a fairer way for people to pay over time and it's really incredible for us to see that now resonating with millions of customers um, and hundreds of thousands of merchants across the globe. But we do remind ourselves every single day that the only way that this was made possible was by virtue of the incredible local talent that started and developed Afterpay. And in that way, we are just so humble to be part of the Australian fintech ecosystem um, and seeing all the global success stories that keep emerging um, as we look at our exciting space month after month. Thank you, FinTech Australia, for this incredible recognition. We're humbled and inspired and excited for the future. Thank you again. Thanks very much, Paul. It's now my pleasure to introduce Oliver Kidd from Archer, who will now announce the second inductee. Hello everyone, um, it is my pleasure to have been asked to announce the latest inductee into the Fintech Australia Finney's Hall of Fame, particularly because uh, the company that is being inducted is one that has really put Australian Fintech on the map over recent years, um, a multi-billion dollar valuation, 500 plus employees in multiple countries around the world, eight Finney Awards, um, and, and recently um, founders having set up their own venture capital fund, Capital 49. Um, that I'm sure will uh, continue to contribute to the Australian fintech ecosystem, helping to grow, I'm sure, countless more um, successful businesses. So uh, without further ado, it's my pleasure to announce that Airwallex is the latest inductee into the Fintech Australia Hall of Fame. Congratulations, guys. Good evening, everyone. It's an honour to be inducted into the inaugural Hall of Fame by Fintech Australia. It's been a massive year for Australian startups and for Airwallex. We've completed our 200 million Series E funding round. 
accelerate our global expansion in markets like North America and Europe. And our founders launched Capital 49 to give back by investing in fintechs and other startups. We couldn't have done this without the continued support from our customers, partners, and our talented global team. Congratulations to everyone being recognized tonight, and thanks again. Congratulations to our incredible, deserving inductees. Throwing back to you now, Andrew. Uh, thank you very much, Cathy. You officially win the beach ball competition. Uh, and congratulations to the team from Air Wallach. So I just need to clean my hair and get back into the swing of things. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we move now to our 16th award. This is the Female Fintech Leader of the Year. And the finalists are Carolyn Breeze, Jess Joyce, Jill Berry, Joanne Edwards, Jody Stanton, Nabi Mariam, Natalie Dinsdale, and Simone Joyce. Congratulations. And Cathy, tell us who the winner is. Thanks, Andrew. This is an award very close to my heart and is sponsored by Seedspace Venture Capital. We've got Katrina Donaghy from Seedspace to announce the winner. Good evening. I'm sure everyone's enjoying Finis 2021. Seedspace VC is the proud sponsor of the Female Fintech Leader of the Year. My name is Katrina and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Civic Ledger and also an industry advisor with Seedspace VC. Tonight, I have the honour of announcing who is the winner. So tonight's winner of the Female Fintech Leader of the Year for 2021 is, is Natalie Dinsdale from Anthena Home Loans. Congratulations, Natalie. Thank you so much, Fintech Australia, for this incredible award. I am so grateful and honoured to receive Female Fintech Leader of the Year. I want to say a huge congratulations to all the nominees, a bunch of incredible women, and a special big thank you to my amazingly talented team and Athena. I also want to take the opportunity to say that there needs to be more diversity in the Fintech ecosystem. Did you know that there's only 30% women in Fintech Australia? So exciting to have recognised another fantastic female fintech leader of the year. Congratulations, Natalie. And congratulations to Natalie and the Athena team, no doubt celebrating almost as much as Cathy and co seem to be celebrating. I'm glad to see that you are having a wonderful time over there, Cathy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we move to award number 17. This is the Emerging Fintech Leader of the Year and the finalists are Alex Harper, Belinda Hogan, Ivan Churilov, Jess Joyce, Jill Berry, Patrick Coughlin, Reese Davies, Stephanie Gillen. And Cathy, tell us who is the Emerging Fintech Leader of the Year? We're on the home stretch now with the awards. Thanks, Andrew. This award has been sponsored by Go Cardless. We have Tanya here to announce the winner. Innovation is core to the growth and success of Australia's fintech ecosystem. And at Go Cardless, we're big believers in supporting the up and coming Aussie players defining the future of finance. While Go Cardless is now celebrating 10 years of powering account to account payments across the globe, we too were once a scrappy fintech envisioning how we could shake up the system. I'm proud to announce the 2021 Emerging Fintech Leader of the Year has been awarded to Jill Berry from Additory. Congratulations, Jill. I am so happy to accept Tiffany's award on behalf of Adatree. My team and I have been dreaming big, working hard and crushing our goals. So thank you for the acknowledgement for this award. Um, the fintech community, our investors, our regulators, partners and customers have been so supportive of us on our journey. Congratulations to everyone on your achievements and can't wait for a cracking 2022. Congratulations, well done, Kathy, and uh, well done to Jill Perry, celebrating here as best as we can, as are the team from Artitry. All right, let's move in a tinselly way to our 18th award. This is the award for Outstanding Fintech Leader of the Year, and the finalists are Alex Harper, Ben Williamson, Carolyn Breeze, 
Christian Westerling Wigstrom, Clayton Howes, John Winters, Catherine McConnell, and Simone Joyce. Kathy, tell us who the winner is. We're really building up here, aren't we? This award is sponsored by BDO, and I have Tim Ammon here, the global fintech leader at BDO, to announce the winner. Good evening. On behalf of BDO Australia, I'm very proud to announce the Outstanding Fintech Leader of the Year Award. This year, there are co-winners. The first one, Catherine McConnell of Bright and Simone Joyce of Paper Plane. Congratulations, both. Hi. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you so much uh, for nominating me for this award. And I just want to say congratulations to all the nominees who were also finalists. You're all such of a really high calibre, and I'm absolutely uh, honoured um, to have been selected as the winner of the category. Uh, I would like to um, just say that being a leader in any industry is really tough, particularly in an industry that's undergoing a pandemic and curveballs being thrown at you, not being able to be close to your team, uh, support them. And I think it's been a really particularly um, difficult year for, for all leaders. And I just want to say that, yeah, I, um, we're all going through this together. Um, but I would like to call out uh, my team and I'd like to dedicate this award to my team. They're a hugely inspiring team. Uh, every single day they're supporting our customers, they're supporting each other, and they just keep showing up with huge passion, huge energy, and uh, a huge amount of motivation. I've always said a dream is just a dream without a team, and I have the best team in town that keep delivering, that keep pushing me forward, and I'm absolutely ecstatic and so immensely proud uh, to be their leader. So thank you for the nomination. Uh, I just want to again say, um, you know, good luck to everyone who's out there going through a really tough time. We're going to get through this and really look forward to seeing everyone on the other side and hopefully celebrating in person very, very soon. So thank you, Fintech Australia. Thank you, Beck. And um, congrats again to all the other winners and finalists tonight. Thank you. Wow, um, I am genuinely surprised to receive this award given the calibre of the finalists, um, all people who I know and respect madly. Um, so thank you very much. Massive thank you to my team at Paper Plane who make me look good on a daily basis just by showing up and doing their jobs. Um, they are all amazing. I am so grateful to the fintech sector um, for continuing to break new boundaries um, and being the most interesting place to work. Um, thank you to everyone involved in this award. And again, um, congratulations to all the finalists. I personally think you are all wonderful. Um, and thank you very much for this award. And congratulations. We move now to our 19th award. This is Emerging FinTech Organisation of the Year, less than two years old. And the finalists are Arditry, Before Pay, Brick Floor, Frankie One, Open Markets Group, Superhero, We Money, and 86400. Over to you, Kathy. Our merging fintech of the year are less than two years old, and this award has been sponsored by Mastercard. I'm joined by Callan Hogan to announce the winner. Mastercard is proud to support the Australian fintech industry and Fintech Australia. We support innovation through our global tech hub right here in Australia with hundreds of resources dedicated to scaling your business. Our aim is to make scaling your business and connecting to complementary technology easier, faster, and more profitable for you. It is with great delight that I'm here tonight to announce FinTech Australia's Emerging Organisation of the Year for 2021. And the winner is... Frankie won. We're super thrilled and excited to uh, have found out that we won the Emerging Fintech of the Year uh, Award. Um, super grateful uh, and thank you very much to Fintech Australia. Thank you very much for voting for us. Um, and exciting things to come. Thank you. And a big congratulations to the Frankie One team. We move to our 20th award. Award number 20 is the Fintech Organisation of the Year. And the finalists are... Athena Home Loans, Fresh Equities, Manuva, Prosper, TikTok, Up, Verency, and Wiser. Kathy, handing over to you now to announce the winner. Thanks, Andrew. Vocus is the sponsor for this award, and we have Andrew Wildblood, the CEO of Vocus Online, to announce the winner. 
Over to you, Andrew. Hi, I'm Andrew Walbert, CEO of Enterprise and Government for Vocus. Fintechs and the Finnies showcases the best in the industry, and I'm here and proud to announce the winner of the Organisation of the Year. And the winner is Athena Home Loans. Congratulations. Wow. Athena Home Loans is honoured to be selected as Aussie Fintech of the Year for 2021. And it's particularly flattering to be selected from such an impressive group of nominees. We'd like to congratulate all the finalists. We love you all. What the fintech ecosystem is doing, it's incredibly important for Australia, bringing increased competition, innovation, fairness to a finance sector that desperately needs change. Athena's mission is to help Aussies pay down the home loan faster, and we're on our way. Since our launch in 2019, Athena has now settled over $3.3 billion in home loans, and the average customer is saving nearly $60,000 over the life of the loan. And we're challenging the industry to do better. We're the first loyalty tax-free lender, the first to dynamically price as customers pay down the home loan, totally fee-free. So, once again, I'd love to pass on a big congratulations to our wickedly talented team of Athenians who make this possible. This one's for you. And congratulations to Athena Home Loans. All right, time for our 21st, happy 21, our 21st award, the People's Choice Award for Emerging Fintech. And the finalists for this award are Artitry, Before Pay, Brick Floor, Frankie One, Open Markets Group, Superhero, We Money, 86400. Kathy, tell us who the winner is, please. Thanks, Andrew. We're now at the much anticipated People's Choice Awards. This award's been sponsored by the team at Tier One People, and I'm joined by Rehan from FinTech Australia, who will announce the winner as voted by you, the audience. Welcome, Rehan. Thanks, Kathy. On behalf of FinTech Australia, I'd like to thank Tier One People for sponsoring this award. Don't miss their amazing FinTech podcast called The FinTech Chatter. And the winner is we Money. We Money and all of our members are absolutely thrilled to receive a Finney's Award. We can't even express how much this means to us. Uh, we've been around for about 12 months publicly and to have received an award, especially from uh, the peak body of Fintech Australia is absolutely amazing. But the real winners here are our members. Our members that come and look at we Money every single day to get hints and tips about improving their financial life and we'd like to dedicate this award to them. All right, congratulations everyone. We have arrived at the final award for the evening. It is the People's Choice Organisation of the Year Award. And the finalists are Athena Home Loans, Fresh Equities, Manoeuvre, Prosper, TikTok, Up, Verency, and wiser. For the last time, handing over to you, Kathy, to announce the winner. Thanks so much, Andrew. Our final award for the, for the evening, and it's the People's Choice Award for Organisation of the Year. Again, sponsored by our great partners at Tier One People. We're going to hear from Dexter Cousins, who is a partner at Tier One People, to announce the winner. Take us home, Dexter. Well, this is our second year partnering with FinTech Australia on the People's Choice Awards. And every year, the competition just gets stronger and stronger. We're super proud to partner with FinTech Australia on these awards and the winner of the organization of the year is... Oh, congrats from and the team. Thank you, FinTech Australia, for this recognition. It's humbling just to be in the company of such unbelievable finalists. Up is the result of the tireless efforts of an extraordinary team, delivering the number one and most loved banking app in Australia. It's simply an honour to be working with you all. Over 400,000 upsiders, three years since launch, over $30 billion in transactions, over $8 billion in deposits flowing in from the big four. You're the reason that we're able to accept this FinTech Organisation of the Year Award. Your 10 million messages of hope and thanks gives our team a reason to get out of bed every day to make Up so awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much, everyone. It's been an absolute blast. Have a good evening. Bye. A big thank you to all of our finalists and all of our winners this evening. And a huge thank you to all of our wonderful sponsors. Thank you to Swiftex, to Vocus and the Victorian government. Congratulations again 
to everyone at home for being involved in the Finney's 2021. It is now good night and goodbye. Thank you and congratulations from FinTech Australia and the wonderful Bake production team here in Melbourne. Thank you everyone and good night. Just wait, before you all go and get another drink, there is one more thing that we needed to do. There are a few more people than just me that wanted to say thank you to Beck, and this is the perfect time to do so. So without further ado, here's everyone saying thank you to you, Rebecca Shopguppy. Hey Beck, congratulations on your new role and good luck. Um, I know you will smash it out the park just like you did uh, at Fintech Australia. It's just been such an honour to work with you. Um, you are a true star. All the best and we'll see you on the other side. Hey Beck, I can't believe your time at FA is coming to an end. Uh, you were my very first meeting in FinTech about Australia, in Australia for FinTech Australia. And it's been incredible to see the journey as well as how far you've taken the business how, and you're leaving us in a really strong spot. So well done, thank you so much. And we're so happy to be working with you through all of this and we're excited to see where you go next. Bex, thanks for all your support of us as a business during your time as FinTech Australia CEO. We've thoroughly enjoyed working with you, engaging at Intersect and all of our work together with FinTech Australia and Australia. Thanks also for your services to FinTech in Australia and for raising the profile of Australia as a FinTech nation globally. All the best for what's next. We're both operating in the same industry now and look forward to continuing to work together. Hey Beck, on behalf of all of us at Frollo, just want to thank you for all the great work that you did whilst you were at FinTech Australia. Thank you personally for all the support you showed Frollo and myself, and I wish you the very, very best for the future, and I hope our paths continue to cross. All the best, Beck. Beck, you're an absolute superstar. Thank you so much for advancing the cause of Australian FinTechs uh, since your reign as CEO. It's been absolutely amazing to have you, and we are really excited to find out what's next in your future. Hi, Beck. Katrina from Miko, together with Neil and Greg. When we think of you, we think of leadership, vision, energy, delivery, and Collingwood. Thank you for everything that you've done to support us, and we wish you every best for the future. All the best, thank you. Yeah. Hey, Beck, you've been an incredible CEO for FinTech Australia, and it's been amazing working with you and having you as a member of both YBF Melbourne and YBF Sydney. Here's wishing you all the best as you set sail on your next journey, and look forward to seeing you around the neighborhood, since we're neighbors. Hi, Beck. On behalf of all the team here at Look Who's Charging, we just want to say a huge thank you for all your hard work and everything you've done over the past few years, and all the best with your new role. Beck, just wanted to say a big thank you and good luck uh, on behalf of Athena. You've been an absolutely incredible CEO for FinTech Australia. We're going to miss you terribly and wish you all the best for what we know will be a fabulous path forward. Um, can't imagine um, you know, this organisation without you. All the best of luck. Beck, really just wanted to congratulate you on finally getting into the venture capital world. And of course, for your amazing contribution to the history of Australian fintech. The legacy you leave behind is extraordinary. Australian fintechs have quite frankly taken the world by storm during your tenure as CEO of Fintech Australia. Being on the journey with you, building the close-knit Australian fintech community has been an absolute privilege. Hi Beck, Startup Bootcamp would like to wish you all the best with your uh, move um, we really do appreciate all the help that you've given us over the last three years. Uh, speaking at our major events like um, our demo days and uh, doing workshops and the like, it's been really appreciated. We wish you all the best for your future and I'm sure we'll see you around. Lots of love, Startup Big Camp. Hi Beck, thanks for all the hard work you've done for the Australian fintech industry. I'll always fondly remember our time in Paris as we passed in the good vibes of an international submarine deal. Best of luck on your next venture. Hi Rebecca, um, a big congratulations um, from the whole Seed Space team on what you've achieved uh, in your uh, tenure as CEO of FinTech Australia. It's been a dynamic few years, the ecosystem has uh, massively grown um, and we wish you all the very best in your future career. Hey RSG, thanks for all you've done at FinTech Australia. 
Startups like ours wouldn't exist without you. Please accept the grateful thanks of a co-founder and we're wishing you every success in what's to come. Don't be a stranger and we'll be in touch. From all of us here at Cogsflow, thank you. Hi Beck, Dex here. Just wanted to say congrats on the move and thanks for all your help and support over this last few years. It's been a real pleasure to watch you on this journey and see you flourish as a leader. Um, lots and lots of happy memories, but I think the best one has to be intersect this year at the end, which I think was just a real fitting send off and, and I guess a sign of the remarkable work that you've done. Congrats and can't wait to see you in the new role. Hey guys, wanted to say thanks and good luck to Beck, um, someone who's been such a massive asset to FinTech in this country over a number of years. Um, you know, your achievements speak for themselves. You've been a huge asset to Archer and to, and to me personally and to, and to um, FinTech in general. Uh, it's been so impressive um, watching you get so much done and then in recent years working alongside you um, with FinTech Australia. Uh, so best of luck with what you're doing next and, and thank you for all the hard work. One, two, three. Thank hey, you, Beck. Good luck. Hey, Beck. We're really going to miss you here at FinTech Australia. I can't thank you enough for bringing me onto the board, and I'm really thrilled for the new role that you're taking on. The ecosystem here in Australia is in much better shape because of your work, your hard work over these last three years. You've been an incredible leader, a very empathetic CEO of the business and we are in really good shape for the next three years because of your efforts. Looking forward to welcoming you over to the other side on the VC side. See you soon. Beck, a sincere, sincere thank you for everything that you've done uh, for our sector over the last few years in your role as CEO of FinTech Australia. You've been a truly amazing advocate, worked really hard to progress our cause uh, with all of our important stakeholders, uh, and we can't thank you enough. All the very best for the future. Just want to say wish you all the very best uh, Beck at Firemark uh, Ventures at IAG for this exciting next new stage of your journey and sincere thanks uh, from the Bright team for the huge efforts uh, and amazing contribution that you've made whilst you've been the CEO of FinTech Australia. You've helped us so much with your advocacy and representation insights. Uh, you've also left the organisation in a fantastic shape, uh, having grown membership and partnership. So absolutely, um, you must be stoked, you must be so proud with all that you've achieved and just looking forward to seeing uh, the success that lays ahead of you. So congrats and um, all the best. What you've done is leave a great legacy for everyone else. I know you're going to do whatever you do really well in the future. Without you, we wouldn't be part of FinTech Australia. Um, without you, I wouldn't hate Collingwood so much. Go the Lions. I'll see you at the next game of the MCG. Good luck for everything in the future. Bye. On three amazing years with FinTech Australia, you'll be sorely missed. You're a great advocate for your industry and it's been fantastic working with you, with the FinTech industry and government all that time. You'll be well missed, but best wishes and good luck for the next exciting adventure. Thank you, Beck, for all you've done during your time at FinTech Australia. It's through your hard work and poise in leading the organisation that we are where we are today. I wish you all the best in your new role, and I'm sure you're going to smash it out of the park um, as a venture capitalist now. All the best, and I can't wait to see uh, the investments you make. Hi Beck, I'd like to thank you for all the hard work, effort, passion that you've shown towards FinTech Australia over the last three to four years. It's been a pleasure working with you. It'll be really sad to see you go, but at the same time, would like to wish you all the best on your new career opportunity. Oh, it's going to be so, so hard to see you go Beck. Um, on behalf of First Mac and Loans.com.au, we just wanted to wish you the best for the future. Uh, for us, you are FinTech Australia. When we joined, you were already there running the team. And in the last few years, I've just seen you grow and you grow the business in such a fantastic way. Um, you'll be sadly missed. Um, 
from a board perspective, I've gotten used to speaking to you a lot in recent times. So it's going to be a bit sad not to have such regular contact with you, but I look forward to, to catching up with you in the future and we'll stay in touch. And yeah, best wishes for your new job um, and all that it brings to you, Beck. Congratulations. Hey, Beck, Harry Godber here. Congratulations on an exceptional tenure as FA CEO. You've not only brought together the ecosystem uh, at a critical time, but you've also supplied the data and the insights that have informed the consequential decisions that we made in government that really underpinned how Australian fintechs could continue to thrive through this period. And only someone with the trusted relationships that you've developed could have done that. Um, having joined the FA board, I've seen all the hard work you put in behind the scenes to make that possible. Thank you so much for all that you've done, and I know that you'll succeed in leaps and bounds in the next stage of your career. SwiftX is Australia and New Zealand's top-rated cryptocurrency exchange. With close to 400,000 customers, our platform has facilitated billions of dollars in trading volume. You can buy, sell, swap, send, receive, trade, and store 280 plus cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum on our user-friendly mobile app and web platform. Sign up today via www.swiftx.com forward slash finneys2021 and you'll receive $50 worth of free Bitcoin to get you started. Happy trading. The best and brightest in fintech starts here. Australian fintechs are known for creating world-leading products. If you're an Australian fintech, regtech, insurtech, blockchain or cybersecurity business ready to expand overseas, Austrade can help. Connecting you with digital services, on the ground contacts, key networks and events to help your business go further, faster. Discover the brilliant international opportunities waiting for you.